My name is Wongani Nyerenda. I'm 14 years old. I'm a student at Moose Primary School. is a beautiful school but also there are some problems challenges we're here really to get a sense of um, the uh, dimensions of change and what more needs to be done and we know that the challenges are profound i'm really here to see it it's one thing with these statistics but i want to see it firsthand and, and find out all that can be done and where we start first and thank you for allowing us to be here and we are um, really honoured to be here in Malawi to focus on the issue of specifically how we can make 2017 the year of education. As former Prime Minister Gillard said, we really believe that this is a pivotal year for the replenishment of the Global Partnership for Education and we have a, a membership based organisation of some 8 million members now who will be working over the coming year in partnership with Rihanna and the Clara Lanell Foundation. Really, from the purpose of our trip here is to, as Rihanna said, to learn a lot more, to learn from you, and see how we can take those learnings and apply them to build our movement to try to end extreme poverty by 2030. So class which may have hundreds of students uh, may not be easy to be controlled by just one teacher. Right? It's also a bit difficult to watch more and do well in that particular class. Yes. So the end, the, 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 the end result is the dropout. <laughs> The dropouts they are dropping out because of poverty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. It's such a pity that they have to drop out because they're so smart. Everybody's learning together and learning at the same pace, it seems. And it's, it's, it's sad that that has to end for some of them because they could probably do so much if they, were, if they had the resources to continue and complete. We don't, we don't take food to eat to school, or sometimes we don't eat because of lack of food at home. I don't worry that I don't eat in the morning because I believe in the future, when I will be a businessman, I will have more food. Yeah. Our Minister, is this look of the school, is this sort of standard if we went to other schools in Malawi for children of this age, they would look like this? Well, in a way, yes. Probably one thing that needs to be emphasised is that the, there are classrooms of, and classroom blocks that are constructed by the community. Yes. And there are those that have previously been constructed by the government. We do also have non-government organisations, both local and international, uh, that we construct classrooms. So at a school like this one, you actually can see that the, 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 blocks, the classroom blocks don't look the same, which means that they were, right. they were built at different times with the different sources of funding. There are very few schools, especially the new ones, where you have got one standard structure.
some grasses are not available, you see some learners laying under the tree. So it is very dangerous according to this way the rain season. This is a beautiful school and uh, good teachers, good learners, but there's some lack of blocks, lack of chocolate, lack of books. There is important to come together because in together is a powerful. So we need to sing songs, yes, playing games like rugby, also to make our body healthy and to make our body defend from diseases. As of Malawi, the uh, challenges that girls face, uh, the major challenge, I should say, is long distances. If maybe the government could uh, build more infrastructures in the schools and also maybe try and build more schools in the rural areas, because a girl might travel 13 kilometers, 15 kilometers away from home, just one way, going to, the school, uh, to school and then she'll have to come back. You can imagine it's 26 kilometers. As for a girl, it's a very big challenge because she can face a lot of challenges on the her way home or on her way to school. There is this crisis of child marriages. Girls are married off at tender age. It's not good for the parents to arrange marriages for their children because parents might choose someone who maybe has HIV and AIDS without getting that person tested. If you choose your married partner for yourself, you, it's easy for you to tell your partner, let's go get tested, then you might prevent the spread of HIV and AIDS in this country. When I came to Malawi the very first time, I was surprised on the magnitude of need. I come from Zimbabwe where there are our challenge is to dismantle as well within the education system, but at least the education supply side is okay. There are schools where children could go to. But when I came to Malawi, I heard the first phrase ever in my life about uptake ratio. I'd never heard about that. And uptake ratio is simply about how many students from primary school get to go into secondary school. And that's when I realized that actually in Malawi, as they say statistically now, is that 72 percent, 70 to 75 percent of students get into primary school, but only eight percent get to complete secondary school. And that's a huge issue. It's a huge disparity. Wow. So, and me also, I like agriculture. I now, there is a hunger in Malawi, so if I'm growing up, there is no hunger. Uh -huh. Good. Yes. It's great. For me, I think one of the things that I've discovered about poverty from a personal experience is that it's not just the lack of means. It's also what it takes away from you. It takes away the sense that you've got control over your destiny. And at times you feel that maybe this is going to be all it is because your grandmother didn't get it, your mother didn't. So you feel that actually this is all it is. It's amazing the way they learn though. I love that they learn a melody. That's like my favorite thing. Because kids, they adopt melody really, really quickly. And so if you can use that as a learning tool, I think it's the most brilliant, brilliant thing. Together, it's powerful. Together, it's powerful. You share your knowledge, skills. Together, it's powerful. You promote each other. Together, it's powerful. American came together. African came together. Europe came together, together is powerful. African came together, American came together, together is powerful. Came together to make one powerful, together is powerful.